All right, everyone. Uh, it is me, Johnson Chan. And, uh, you know, I'm still, still a little sick. Um, I think maybe it's the grocery store that I go to because I tend to get sick quite often whenever I go there to get groceries. But I go there, obviously, every week because, you know, Spanish rot. So, I don't know. Uh, and I don't get sick every week, right? So, it's like, huh. Uh, but whatever it is, I think it was also just... Uh, I had to scale back my ice cream and you know, intimate cookies thing, so it was disrupting my sleeping pattern. And yeah, I think that also probably did me in finally. So, anyway, a lot of chaos. Uh, worked on the game yesterday. I'm gonna definitely work on it today. I'm constantly finding new bugs, and it's just like starting to get frustrated. Let me see if he responded yet. I'm not sure what's wrong your kids. I've done a quick test. It seems to be working for you. Both when perk is pre-purchased or per during running. You must have already broke something like not find the code. First, I would run the testing and check the life and life cap on game control instead of the one in game view to make sure this display is correct. If that checks out, add some debug purchase and perk test to make sure the function is called when you purchase a perk in run time. All right, so it's supposed to, so why is it not working? Okay. Uh, check the life and life cap value on game control instead of the game view. Okay. All right, so the thing is supposed to be working. All right, good. <clears throat> yeah. So I didn't even modify the code. That's the thing that's getting annoying. So hopefully it is a simple bug because things were working, and then I add tower uh, to tower defense gang. So I'm not changing the fundamental code, right? And then it just stops working. It's like it's like okay, what's going on? But I am adding a lot of new content using the editor. So I think maybe what's happening. Oh, maybe what's happening is there's a game. He said there's a game control. Maybe that's. Um... Oh, now I'm now I'm curious. I'm gonna fire this up uh, while we do this, and then um... yeah, that's why it's uh, screwing up. All right, so I, I went on a huge diverted tangent, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I was working on the game, and then uh, yeah, we have a lot of chaos going on. But at least the uh, the economy seems to be doing <laughs> hilariously well. You know. You want to buy when there's blood in the streets. Now, what's interesting is um, I'm not sure if it's because people now I actually have no idea. Is it because they think Trump is going to get reelected or maybe they just happen to like Joe Biden? Because, of course, if Joe Biden gets reelected, he's going to remove the China tariffs and, you know, all the other stuff that Trump is doing. All right. So he'll put America last, but, you know, the corporations at the top, you know, benefit greatly. Um, and technically, they're doing pretty well under Trump, too, but they'll, they would prefer that Joe Biden would, would be president. So I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to see. But uh, whatever is happening, everyone's making a lot of money. Uh, Bitcoin dance is at 65.3 percent. 24 hour volume is 126.2 uh, billion uh, volume. I'm, I'm still thinking about the game. Game control. Oh, okay. So you said if it changes there. Okay. Perk.cs. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, did he, I did that. Bitcoin is now finally above 10,000 in the, like a long time, or as it felt like that. It's up 6.18%. So 10,147 bucks. Litecoin's at 49.51. So all across the board, all the money is being made, finally, thank God. Uh, Doggy coin is 330.7 million market cap, up 3.12%. Let's see, hopefully Hive and Steam are getting in on this too. Yeah, Steam's up 3.92%, that's at 2173. Where's Hive? Well, that's not a good sign. Did it go down? Did I miss it? Oh, it's actually below Steam. Well, it dipped a lot for some reason. Now it's at 25.44. So it went up there, because yesterday I just did the investing video because it was triggering me. And then the rioting isn't helping things either. So, uh, and unfortunately, Nick Fuentes has actually been on vacation or something. He's like definitely doing something, but he hasn't been live sharing. So, uh, I mean, he does tweets here and there. Uh, but overall, I'm just kind of frustrated with the domestic situation here in America so anyway I have a couple of these weird I mean I know I opened this right yeah I did so a lot of irrational stuff a lot of bad stuff happening so 
No, but yet the markets are up. <laughs> JMC coin seven to eight as usual. Four four coin. Uh, oh, so they so trading is still enabled on four four apparently. Let's see how much is this. Uh, oh, I can't highlight. Oh, there are two point seven billion four four coins for some reason on sale on crack. So this is everyone's just getting ready for the uh, swap. So today's the last day, but I mean, if you're hearing this now, I mean, you should have been doing it like last week. Two by two coins at 70 to 73, but you know, it's been doing really well towards 81. So, um, yeah, uh, two by two doing fantastic as always. Uh, compound coins at 5,000 to 5,700. So yeah, now that the boom, the bull run's finally starting to kick back up. All right. Cause it, it was going, it's guaranteed to happen. It's just a matter of when, and luckily it's finally happening. And that's impressive. It's happening while, you know, we got mass riots going on in America because they're deliberately trying to let the riots happen. Because the um, cause I did a pretty big post yesterday. And now I figure out how. Now for next time, I know how to make a tweet train. Uh, tweet train next time. And uh, yeah, they're, they're, they want Trump to bring the military out, and then you know martial law and all that stuff and they could say trump's an actual dictator i mean there's no winning move for trump so i don't know how the hell he gets out of this one so and because of that that is why he's now down four to five percent but um he just rolled it out i think yesterday so maybe we'll give this until the end of this week to see what effect this has uh if any but so far joe biden's going the empathy understanding route Trump and Republicans, of course, are going the law and order route. I would recommend, you might, and of course, no one's promoting my shit, so that's why we're not going to have any solutions. Trump should be doing both. All right? If it were Joe Biden, he would be more understanding, but he'll still say, but hey, we still need to keep the cops on the street to you know, protect. Uh, in his case, he would just say minority, whatever. Trump, on the other hand, still likes to keep, keep complaining about China. He needs to really stop doing that, because that's actually contributing to his loss not only because it's bad karma but because right now nobody gives a shit about china so you know like people are like a black man was killed by a white cop and then it's like china 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 and people are like what the fuck is wrong with you <laughs> you know it's like completely different points of view and you know you know idiot trump still hasn't gotten into his fucking head so uh let's see um yeah mike pence uh even tucker carlson ripped uh trump jared kushner and mike pence apart for being uh idiotic more, more so uh pence and jared kushner blah 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 okay so just more junk uh new york city they said they're gonna reopen new york city on uh, june 8th or something like that uh so that would be yeah next monday so yeah, thank God, because I actually went to Target, it was like yesterday or two days ago, I think. Um, yeah, picked up a lot of food, you know, it's like, it was, it's basically almost normal. I mean, it was still some empty shelves, but I actually managed to get a lot of what I want. Actually, I got everything that I wanted. I actually was over, <laughs> I was over capacity. I bought $150, well, $148.07, I think, worth of groceries. So now I'm Tamaguchi for two weeks. So, yeah, it's going to be back to normal. So I might actually be able to restock my cleaning supplies, too. All right. Um, where's the daily hold, though? Is it normally this far back? Uh, okay, so I actually want to work on my game. Uh, Bitcoin rises about 10k first time. Bitcoin, um, Bitcoin jumps about 10k as it prepares the next bull cycle. Wall Street, market ramp. Um, Bitcoin could be about to surge to hundred. Oh yeah, I'm so I'm, I was so distracted by the. I really want to fix the stupid bug problem. Um. Okay, so so far, after. I just want to know what the headline says. I don't want to read the article. Strange premium after 1 million Bitcoin bought. What? All right. Yeah, I figure it was stupid. So it appears as uh, so widely says COVID or fraud. Um, they're about to surge 100,000 after 
Dock to okay, we're not gonna okay, so nothing here. So stop focusing on markets. Uh don't care about that, don't care about that. Yeah, there's literally nothing here. It's just whatever. Giant death of George Flyway. Uh I'm really starting to hate the daily holdle. Um Okay. Yeah, there's literally nothing here. It's just the normal stuff. All right. I guess we'll just use this as a thumbnail. All right. So, yeah, it just looks like normal stuff. So, it's only going to be one of two things. They like Joe Biden or they like the fact that Trump's getting reelected. The problem is I still have no idea what. Like, there's just too much chaos going on for me to figure things out. Uh, but on the other hand, fundamentally, things are also reopening, too. I mean, like, you know, because, you know, people are still making food. People are still making cars, which is funny because one of Elon Musk's Tesla cars got stolen in one of the riots. And um, I don't know. Normally I would say something about the Groper uprising. But again, Nick's been basically missing in action for like, I think he's basically, he, they say he's like on a vacation slash doing something uh, with business too. So. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just gonna need more, more data this week. Stock market news. Okay. So while we wait for this thing to load, uh, advances as okay, stabilizing economic data amid ongoing protests, spurred some concerns. Yeah, most of the people who are protesting t generally are going to tend to already be unemployed, poor, and got completely screwed over by coronavirus anyway. Uh, so and small businesses are getting destroyed, the mom and pop stores, but of course the corporations, the big ones, you know, they're just getting stronger because again they have scale. Small mom and pop, uh, mom and small mom and pop stores do not have scale. Right, this is a, generally a problem with conservatives versus liberal thinking. Right, liberals tend to also think like they're supposed to, like whatever it is. At least when it comes to corporations, they tend to do better. Right, with scale and seeing the bigger picture. But conservatives, I don't know. I always thought conservatives could see the big picture, but I think uh, that's not the case at all. Like, I happen to be an exception to, like, everything, apparently. So, uh, yeah. And then they're like, and then one day, your mom and pop store that's been the same way for 20, 30, 40 years, all of a sudden, you know, it's like, oh, man, now, now, now I'm getting wiped out by Walmart. Now I'm getting wiped out by Papa John's, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's just how it goes. You know, people just, like, they're so focused. On, it's like in chess, right? You're focused on your plan and you completely miss the fact that you're about to get checkmated because you're, you're, you're ignoring what your opponent is about to do. And then you're like, oh, shit, you know. <laughs> yeah. So 17 minutes to the Hikaru did been off game. I mean, Hikaru's probably going to win, but I, I want to... I mean, who knows? Maybe uh, this Dibinoff guy will win, get a draw, and then it'll be go to Armageddon. The economic front index of U.S. manufacturing activity released Monday morning rose for the first time since January, stoking hopes that the worst of the downturn was over, even as gosh, you know, we, we say better days ahead, so they still make claims. And, uh, we, we. Stocks ended Monday session higher, despite so the touches across the country's dirty rally against the police protests and those killing. Uh, okay, I don't really, uh, Okay, so this didn't say anything. Uh, running boom. So fitness has replaced group fitness. Um, okay, very for running sneakers. Yes, yeah. As people's habits change, you know, corporations that can service those change in habits, you know, are going to benefit greatly. So Nike's making a lot of money, which is good because like they have to compensate for all the shoes that are being stolen by the rioters. Okay, um, here's their fitness app. Nike cl Training Club. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Your specialty, uh, Brad, Adidas, Asics, da, 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 what to watch today, blah, 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 blah. Right. And we're not going to read this. So there's actually no news, essentially. Uh, okay, along with the Trump's guy, so okay, yeah, Monday's breakout stock. Tesla headlines, these six tops now are nearby. Okay. I do want to actually buy Tesla, but it's kind of expensive at like 800 bucks. Uh, but I think eventually when I do have extra cash, yeah, I'll probably start buying up like a couple hundred shares of Tesla. You know, I got <clears throat> Excuse me. Stock market rally really ended Monday with selling gains mid-run and transit intensity snap. 
and new buy zones. Apple stock leader Apple also side cleared an add-on entry Monday while chip leader Apple applied no approaching new buy point. Uh, Trump comments early today, John. Okay, so early trimmed about okay, blah blah blah. The uh, overnight action and also has an SLE trend in direction and next week. Last Monday, uh, Trump promised a harsh response. Blah blah blah. The energy fell in the wake of his cut, but reversed higher in overnight trade. Hmm, interesting. Because here's the thing Trump's not going to bullshit about the military response. He, I mean, he is sent like the military is out there. Uh, coronavirus data tech today is once again positive for 2020. Yeah, there's literally nothing. It's just, uh, there's actually no news. It's just, you know, just chaos. Everyone's taking into consideration everything, and fundamentals don't seem, they, they seem to be unchanged. They're meaning they're just getting better. And of course, Rimmel's going back up. Yep, $3.30. So the good news is America is burning, but I'll get richer. You know, because, you know, that's just how it goes, right? Uh, but that kind of sucks because I really like this country and I would like to, you know, not have to shoot, like, you know, take up arms and start shooting people. They like threaten me or my wife or my kids or my property or something. So, uh, I don't know. Well, um, we'll just have to see how it plays out day by day later this week. I'm going to refresh one more time and see how, um, how everything's going. Yeah. I mean, the equity markets really are not up that much, but I mean, it's still early in the day, obviously. So. Facebook and Amazon are going down. So it does appear that the Trump executive order does seem to be something. And the only thing that, like, the executive order itself does nothing, even though it's South, it's like it's typical Trump bullshit. But uh, Bill Barr did say that litigation is going to happen. So I think this is what's pricing in. So at least we'll get some litigation. The problem is Trump. Uh, <laughs> Trump might lose the election. Uh, you know, before that happens. And then I mean, once Joe Biden becomes president, he's obviously going to kill the investigation. Uh, or at least the globalists will. Because, right? uh, again, I think Joe Biden and the others will just simply say, hey, Bill Barr, get out. And then that'll be it. So, uh, as much as I find Trump frustrating, uh, we do need him reelected. Well, I need him reelected. Uh, yep. All right. So anyway, uh, if you like what you saw, heard or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash uh, JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page so we can continue uh, growing this channel. All right. So still a little groggy, but I'm still recovering. Still a little sick. Very annoying. Even though it's basically June, I gotta open. I gotta open the window actually. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in all tomorrow's uh, video. And uh, yeah, enjoy the bull run, even though things don't look very good. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't even look at this, but um, oh yeah, data's not even out for this uh, for this week yet. So yeah, now's the time to get rich. I better not hear. And of course, if you haven't already, go to my how to get rich with proof of stake mining, blah blah. blah. Like basically, I charge people ten bucks for this book. Now I just simply give it away for free because I'm just getting sick and tired of people just not getting uh, like. Look, any money, you can become, depending on how much money you want to put in, you know, 500 or 1500 you know, you can be anywhere from $100,000 richer or a million dollars richer. In my case, I'm going for the hundred uh, for the millions. All right, this bull run, and it could be the very last bull run too, especially if Trump gets kicked out this year, right? There's actually a very real possibility of that. So basically, this is it. This is your opportunity. The next opportunity won't come around for another 10, 15 years, all right? You know, and by then, I'm going to be in my 50s at that point, right? A lot of you are going to be like become boomer ages, I guess, or whatever. So it's like, don't squander this opportunity, right? Because I see more people bitching like, I my stack's not worth a lot or the price has gone down. I'm going to get so tilted and triggered, all right? So go go watch this video. All right, I already pinned it to the announcement threads here. Like how to let's see how to get rich foundational, and that's just the YouTube video. So yeah. So anyway, uh, build that stack, build that asset column, build that cash flow, and I will see you on tomorrow's video. Thanks, Johnson Chan, GMC Coin, four hundred four Coin. So again, to recap. Nothing seems to have changed. Uh, fundamentals continue to get better, even though America is on fire, literally. Uh, but the corporations already, uh, I mean, they're, they're, they're fucking everybody over and they're going to get away with it. 
Uh, Trump is doing his best. Uh, it's not good enough, but at least he's doing something. But I don't know. I'm not very confident. But in the meantime, at least crypto's going, you know, way up. So you know, finally the bull runs here. So at least uh, America burns. I'll have I'll have millions of dollars to flee America in case I need to do that. Um, so yeah, and of course here is our thumbnail.